this water. The island of Cozumel is known best for its beautiful coral reef diving. That's why we went. Those of you that have been to this channel are aware of how much I adore reptiles. So when we arrived at the hotel and there was a temple shrine built just for the local iguanas, you could imagine how giddy I was. Who knows what unthinkable rituals are held in the heart of the iguana temple. Of all the reptiles, iguanas have to be the dorkiest, and it's their dorkiness that makes them extra lovable. Look at this guy, and this guy. Iguanas haven't learned to speak Spanish or English yet, but they do speak good body language. Head bobbing is one of several forms of communication. This one is saying, heads up dude, this is my turf. This one is saying, hey dude, you don't want any of this. And this one could be saying, hey baby, you want some of this? But it's hard to tell. In Asia, wild monitors have to hunt and think and track down their food. Here in the Americas, most iguanas just have to wait for food to fall from the sky. These brownish iguanas are black, spiny tail iguanas, and they've got a pretty damn rough waiting around by the pool, by the beach, on the sidewalks for food to plop in front of their face. The king daddy here was this magnificent green iguana. He had the best view in the resort and didn't want to share it with anyone. And I can't say I blame him, but I just had to get some close-up video of his majesty. The first line of defense for an iguana is to run away, but this dude was way too macho to up and run at the first sign of trouble. He stood his ground, threatening to lash us with his tail if we got any closer. And when we got closer, he let us know he wasn't bluffing. With home run accuracy, the iguana whipped the camera again and again. All right, King Daddy, you've earned your throne. Till next time, happy trails. <laughs>